Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell here of Second Swing Golf. We're here at the Cobra Tour Fit Experience at Encinitas Ranch. I'm here today with Mike Hearn. How you doing, Mike? Doing well, Thomas. How are you? Doing good. We got the chance to test the new Speed Zone driver, the Speed Zone Extreme, and also compare against the Cobra uh, F9 driver. Yeah, which was a great thing because last year you were here testing the F9 driver. Uh, really excited about what that Speedback technology did for us. And then obviously we've incorporated it into our new Speed Zone and Speed Zone Extreme drivers. So to kind of start it off, we kind of kind of went back to the F9 and did an apples to apples to apples. So we kind of kept the shaft the same. We did an Alda La Rogue Silver X because that's kind of your profile, 60 gram, uh, a little firmer. You got a little bit more uh, club speed, ball speed. Uh, and then the F9 was really good. I mean, the numbers are, are still right there. But the thing I noticed with the SC driver versus F9 is it launched about a degree higher and we got the spin rate down about 500 RPMs. So basically what we picked up for Thomas was about five in the air and about 10 total in total distance which is great. And then just to kind of give him a different look, we gave him the Extreme, which is a, a very high MOI driver. It's a single weight for us, and it just really provides a lot of stability, a lot of forgiveness. Uh, I think from the top, it looks like it's got a, a little bigger, larger footprint. I think that gives you a little bit more confidence to swing without you know, worrying about where the golf ball is going. And then the thing with Thomas was, we found out that the Extreme probably wasn't the right fit for him just because it spun just a little bit more and launched a little higher. But for a lot of golfers, I think that's what they're going to be looking for. Yeah, what I noticed with the Extreme, even though it did spin a little bit more, is it did fly a little bit straighter too. So Correct. maybe a driver that's a little higher on MOI would basically gave me a much straighter ball flight, which is what I was kind of looking for a little bit there too. For sure. Yep. Uh, but your preferred ball flight's a little bit right to left, and I think the SC with the two weights, I, th I think that allows the better player that ability to kind of shape shots a little bit better. And then we kind of had you kind of more in the forward weight in the standard length, and that's at 45 standard. And then we also kind of messed around what would happen if we took it down to what we consider our tour length, which is one inch shorter, which is 44 and a half versus 45 and a half. And the thing that I noticed from the fitting was the numbers really didn't decrease. The ball speed was still the same, but the thing we noticed is the dispersion got a little tighter. And I think that also allowed you to kind of turn the golf ball over. Uh, I noticed that your plane got a little bit better with the shorter length and kind of gave you that other you know, opportunity to turn it right to left. But the other thing we did make uh, from a fitting perspective is we had everything set in the standard position, but Thomas wanted to see more of that right to left ball flight. So we put the setting in minus one draw. So that was technically eight degrees with a little bit more draw bias. And once we did that, we started to see your preferred ball flight. Yeah, I loved, I loved how, that, how that looked when I was hitting that, you know, when it was a little more upright club head. Yes. I also noticed my ball speed increase when I, even though the club was, you know, one inch shorter, I was still getting higher ball speed. So that comes down to me hitting more in the middle of the face. Will that be co combined with a shorter face or maybe a slightly more upright club head? So more ball speed equal more distance. Correct. And yep. I think the, the, the conception is if you go shorter, you're going to lose club head speed. For you, it maintain, and like you'd mentioned, you hit it a little bit more centered ball speed actually went up a, a fraction, which is great. So I think that's good for any type of player. Mike, that was great stuff. Appreciate you coming out here today. Um, I'm really excited to see how, this, how the speed zone drivers perform in 2020. Absolutely. Thanks, Thomas.